is a presentation of the WBCB Sports Network. It's time now for the best high school sports action on 1490 WBCB Levittown Trenton and WBCB1490.com. Catch the best games from Bucks, Burlington, and Mercer counties on your home for high school sports, 1490 WBCB. set for high school basketball here on WBCB. Great to be with you. It's semi-final action, a quadruple header of high school basketball games coming your way here on WBCB. And we'll get it started with the two-seed Allentown Redbirds hosting the three-seed Pennington Red Raiders in girls basketball action. Chris Ermer alongside Bob Giaquinto and Rich King here from Mercer County, New Jersey, it's Mercer County Tournament Action brought to you by Capital Health System. Davis Hyundai, the Revere Restaurant, outstanding Italian cuisine in nearby Ewing Township, New Jersey. Thanks to Team Toyota, your Mercer County Prosecutor's Office. The Trentonian, this is the Trentonian pregame show, and we'll take a look at the starting lineups for the Redbirds and the Red Raiders in just a bit. Thanks also to the Italian People's Bakery, outstanding breads and rolls, cakes for all occasions. Stores in New Jersey and Pennsylvania, the Italian People's Bakery, great to have them with us here for high school basketball as we'll get it started with the Redbirds and the Red Raiders as Allentown coming into today's contest, a victory over Stewart Day, earning them the spot here in the semifinal. Meanwhile, for the Pennington Red Raiders, they got the better of the Ewing Blue Devils in their quarterfinal game. And we'll take a look now at the starting lineups. First for the three-seed Pennington Red Raiders, starting for head coach Jeff Eckerson. And uh, I guess we'll note at this point that Pennington has already qualified. They're going to host the NJ, NJSIAA Prep A Championship on February 27th. So they have their sights set on this Mercer County tournament game, but also NJSIAA action coming up for the Pennington Red Raiders, and congratulations to them on reaching that championship game. But today, for Coach Eckerson, it will be Diamond Christian, the 5'5 junior guard, getting the start along with Carly Rice. Rice had 30 points in that game against Ewing. She's a 5'8 senior guard. She'll be joined on the floor by Johnson and Johnson, Ayana Johnson and Leah Johnson, a couple of big bodies for Coach Eckerson. Ayana, a 5'11 senior forward, and Leah, a 6'2 junior center, and they'll be joined in the starting array by Gianna Lucchese, a 5'10 junior forward, and that's how the Red Raiders will get this afternoon's contest started. Meanwhile, for the Redbirds and head coach Linda Weesey on the floor to start this afternoon's game will be Ryan Weesey. She's been leading the Redbirds as their top scorer, has averaged 17.5 points per game here in the Mercer County Tournament. She is a 5'8 senior guard, joined by Hadley Borkowski, a 5'10 senior forward, Lauren Chianti, a 5'8 junior guard, Marin Hartshorn, a 5'9 senior guard, and Katie White, a 5'11 senior forward. So for the Allentown Redbirds, it will be Weesey, Orkowski, Chianti, Hartshorn, and White. Red Raiders going with Christian, Rice, Johnson & Johnson, along with Gianna Lucchese. This is the 2018 Mercer County Tournament semifinal, and the second year in a row now that the top four seeds have all moved on into the semi, so everything going to chalk here, at least on the girls' side of the bracket. Not quite the same story on the boys' side, and we will have a couple of boys' basketball games for you as well, TCA and Trenton Central, to follow the Redbirds and the Red Raiders. Yeah, not only have uh, all the higher seeds have won this year in the tournament, going 12-0 and this year on the girls' side of the bracket. Again, welcome to the Cure Insurance Arena. Chris Armour sitting alongside Rich Fisher as we get you ready for the first of four games coming your way here today. So we got the Redbirds, the Red Raiders, followed by the Iron Mikes and the Tornadoes. 
And then another girls game as it will be the Lady Iron Mikes taking on the Notre Dame Irish. And then in the nightcap, it's going to be Nottingham and Ewing doing battle. Some great games coming up here uh, for our viewers on WBCB. Yes, there are. Hello, Chris. Hello. Hello. You're still calling me the Pilgrim <laughs> uh, yeah, on well, Facebook. You know what? Why not? You, you can be a Pilgrim year-round. Look at John Wayne. I thought that was just a, a Thanksgiving thing. <laughs> it was, but I decided, you know, if, if, if you can be a Pilgrim one day, you can be a Pilgrim every day. <laughs> so The year-round yeah. Pilgrim here with you at a great time of year when high school basketball, you know, gets very exciting. I mentioned that Pennington, uh, they moved on, and they will have a, a chance at the Prep A championship. Oh, they're, they're running a gauntlet this week. I mean, you know, they beat Oak Knoll last night in the Prep A semis. They're playing Pingree tomorrow in the finals. If they win tonight, they'll play here. So they'll play literally four straight games. I mean, I guess, did you touch it? I guess you touched on that. But, yeah. Well, I mean, both these teams really uh, playing out, outstanding basketball. Allentown on a 12-game win streak. Pennington... Right. They've won 16 straight. They haven't lost since December 15th yeah, at Germantown Academy. Yeah. Yeah, and Allentown hasn't lost since uh, January 19th against Ewing, who they don't have to worry about because Ewing got taken out by uh, Pennington, right? Um, so, I mean, this ought to be a, this ought to be a, an interesting game. Now, we haven't seen either of these teams, obviously, because we mostly do boys' games, but... Uh, Carly Rice is something. She's a heck of a player. She's a heck of an athlete. And, you know, she's out there averaging 16 games, six rebounds, scoring 25 and a half at the counties. Leah Johnson, 14 points, 14 rebounds. Uh, I tell you what, if Allentown is going to win this game, they're going to have to figure out how to neutralize Pennington on the boards. Because Leah Johnson and Ayanna Johnson, who I guess, I don't know, is that their, their sister? Yep. Yeah, they're averaging close. They're averaging thirty rebounds a game. Yeah, in that game <laughs> against Ewing, they had a combined eighteen points, thirty rebounds, and twelve blocks in that game. Well, and not only that, Chris, they've combined for one hundred and fifty steals. So, I mean, they're they're, they're tough cookies. And uh, and then you got uh, Diamond Creek, Crehan, I guess. How Christian. Christian. Yeah, yeah, I wrote that kind of bit. So he's averaging ten. So they got four double figure scores. That's a tough team to try to defend. Now, conversely, Allentown, you know, they go as Ryan Weesey goes, Linda's daughter, and Ryan Weesey is, you know, a, a big-time player of the year candidate. I mean, she's averaging 15, almost 16 a game, five assists a game, four steals a game, uh, 50, 55 three-pointers. She leads the team in all four of those categories. She's a great player, but she is going to have to get some help. Because, you know, if you just throw your defense on double-team Ryan Weesey all game, somebody's going to have to come through. Lauren Quante and uh, Katie White are averaging around 10 a game. So I guess they're the ones. But somebody else has to step up. Ryan Weesey can only do so much. Uh, it's going to be interesting. I know Allentown would just love to get past this. They've been to the semis last couple of years, I think, right? Yeah, but if the, the, the winner here will move on to the finals for the first time in school history, whether it's right. Allentown or... Or Pennington and Rich, as you said, we haven't seen these two teams uh, that much this year. But these two teams haven't seen each other e either. Right. They have not met since 2011, and uh, Allentown won that game then. But that's uh, a yeah, yeah, little that's... consequence here here yeah. today. Those kids are off raising families now. So uh, I, I mean, just just looking at it on paper, Chris, you'd have to think Pennington has the advantage just because they seem to have more weapons. Um, Ryan Weesey's a great, great player, and when she gets hot, she can really go. I know she's had a, a kind of a tough time here at, uh, at this arena, with the Cure Arena, they're calling it now, um, Cure Insurance Arena. She, uh, but you know, when you're when you're your team's one of your team's only real scorer, it's going to be tough because they're going to be able to kind of shut you down. Now, let's see if they have a way of combating that. And see what happens. It looks like we're getting ready for the national anthem, eh? Yep, and we're going to turn things over to the PA announcer here at the Cure Insurance Arena as we get you set for high school basketball. For the Star Spangled Banner.
high school basketball here on the big stage as we get to Mercer County Tournament semifinal action. And for these players out here, it really here is the starting a, a big stage. First for Pennington. Starting, hey, just, starting lineups one, right now. Diamond Christian. Number five, Carly Rice. Number 24, Ayana Johnson. Number 33, Gianna Lucchese. And number 34, Leah Johnson. All right, so there's the starters for Pennington. That was cool. Allentown about <laughs> to take the floor. That was cool. I like that. Add some excitement to this video stream. Allentown earning the higher seed, coming in with 21 wins. The Red Raiders and now here's with 20 the victories. Lineup for Allentown. Number 14, Ryan Weesey. Oh, they got 21 too? Yeah, they won okay. last night. That gave them 21. Number 24, Hadley Borkowski. Number 30, Lauren Chianti. Number 35, Marin Hartshore. And number 50, Katie White. So the starters for Allentown now on the floor as we are about to get this one underway. The first of four games coming your way on WBCB, Mercer uh, County Tournament semifinal action. Marathon Tuesday, boys. I'll be with you for the first two. Yeah, what about my engineer and my video man? All four? Yes. Rich King, all four? I'll be here for the first two. Right. Sam Goldberg for the second two. So you play-by-play, -play, guys. You live a cushy life. Bob Giaquinto <laughs> is here for the whole whole shebang. Whole shebang. Me, me, G, and King. The mighty King. <clears throat> well, we are just about to tap it up. Today's game brought to you by the Trentonian. Outstanding local and national sports coverage. Count on it seven days a week. It's all in the pages of the Trentonian for Pennington. Ayanna Johnson ready to tap it up with Katie White. And we are underway. A lot going on this week. You got this tonight. You got the CBC banquet tomorrow night, which Linda Weesey is a very, takes a very big part in. She helps run it. So it's a busy week for her. And then we got the finals on Thursday. So it's a uh, hoop mania, CBC hoop mania. Carly Rice had it momentarily now. Gives it up. Lucchese gets it inside. Shot off the back iron. No good. But the rebound is going to be brought down by Pennington. And then throwing that one away is going to be Ayanna Johnson. Just an errant pass right there. Turnover. Gives the basketball to Allentown. And that's kind of what Allentown wants to do. Get some turnovers. Maybe not one like that because you got to play it in. But maybe get some turnovers where you can get some transition baskets and not let them get on, you know, double team we see. Allentown able to bounce it in. Nearly a five second violation, but they get it in play. And now taking it right to the top of the key and stopping the dribble is going to be Ryan Weesey. Now Chianti has it again. Gives it up to Weesey, has the dribble, and her pass is taken away. Diamond Christian with the steal and the lay-in. Makes it Diamond Christian! Yeah, and that's kind of what Allentown wants to do. What Diamond Christian just did there. Now it looks like Pennington's setting up a press. So they will get it in. Three ball from the wing. That's missed by Carly Rice. Well, how did they get the ball back? What? Pennington scored and then... Yeah, I don't know. Must have been <laughs> gone out of bounds or... Uh, yes, they did get the basket, right? Yes. <laughs> Now Ryan Weesey will drive in, scoop shot, no good. With the rebound is going to be Ayanna Johnson. She'll outlet to Diamond Christian and on the floor, an injured player for the Red Raiders as Diamond Christian will read through the defense, lay it in to make it 4 nothing. But at the other end of the floor, Katie White is getting some attention from the trainers. Yeah. And we'll step aside here momentarily, let you know that today's game is brought to you by the Italian People's Bakery with stores in New Jersey and Pennsylvania. Returning here to the Mercer County Tournament semifinal in just a moment. 
Aria Health is now Jefferson Health, serving Northeast Philadelphia and Bucks County for more than a century. Their Frankfurt, Torsdale, and Bucks Hospital locations are there for you with primary and specialty care, emergency care, and of course, inpatient care. Whether you live, work, or play, Jefferson Health is there with exceptional care. Jefferson is where you are. Call 1-800-JEFF-NOW to schedule an appointment or visit jeffersonhealth.org. 1490 WBC. Katie White able to make it over to the bench without any help, but uh, she's over there rubbing her knee. Hopefully she'll be able to return to action as it is the Red Raiders with the basketball. Thinking about a shot there, they'll pull up and pass it around the perimeter. Maddie McRae now getting some minutes. She fires off a shot that's no good, but then she'll knock the ball loose. Her layup won't fall through. And here come the Red Raiders of Pennington. Good hustle by Maddie McRae, but she just couldn't get the uh, couldn't get the layup to drop. They get it inside to Johnson, and then she'll pass it right back out. Wide open. Luke Casey has it. Now they get it to Diamond Christian. Wide open shot, no good. That time it was Leia Johnson who had the rebound, but it's knocked away from her. And the Allentown Red Raiders with a three ball in and out, no good, but they do get the offensive board. The putback is no good, and Leia Johnson then has the rebound and the basketball for Pennington. Pennington now with it. Diamond Christian, she'll run the show. Flips it over to Lucchese. Lucchese gets it back. Three, yes. Tell you what, Pennington's working the ball well. They're getting, they've gotten two wide open shots from that right wing there. Now great ball movement from the Red Raiders. That's going to be the Redbirds respond, and Maddie McRae, the recipient of a full court pass, makes it 7-2, to two, Pennington. Diamond Christian with the dribble splits defenders. Nice look as she'll pass it across the paint to Ayana Johnson. Johnson doesn't get the shot, but she gets the whistle. So two shots now for Ayana Johnson. Yeah, she alone had 17 rebounds in that game against Ewing. Yeah, I mean, there. you look at it right now, Pennington's got a 6-1 to one rebounding advantage. Johnson from the line. Ooh, off glass. A little too strong with that first offering. Katie White does return to action. Nice to see her back yep. as Hadley Borkowski heads to the bench for Coach Weesey. Second shot from the line from Johnson is short. So the score remains 7-2. Pennington on top. Red Raiders here. That's who they want with the basketball. Ryan Weesey has it. Now she's going to be double teamed along the baseline. Nearly gets it taken away from Johnson. Her shot is blocked by Leia Johnson. Somehow, Redbirds keep the basketball. Yeah, Weesey kind of was in no man's land. Just tried to get, get something up there. Good help defense once she got close to the basket by Leia Johnson. Here nice she'll stop pass, the foul right. line, pass it on the bounce. But unable to handle it is going to be McCray, and it'll go off of her and out of bounds. That looked like a good pass initially. Might have been a little bit behind. It looked like McCray had to lean back a little bit to get it, which obviously stopped her forward motion, which obviously sent the play spiraling out of control. <laughs> and back to the Red Raiders with the basketball. Ayanna Johnson. Now they'll pass it around the perimeter. A three from Lucchese. No good, but that's going to be knocked away. And Diamond Christian picks it up. Now here, a three going to be a little bit short from Carly Rice. Ball goes out of bounds. Back to the Redbirds of Allentown. First shot Carly Rice has taken today. Well, you corrected me. Both teams with 21 wins this season. So something's got to give here. The winner moves on to the Mercer County Tournament Final. And for either school, it'll be the first trip in school history to that game. Yeah, I think you read the same story I did. It said they'd won, they were 20 and 2, but that was written, that came out yesterday before last night's game. Before the Oak Knoll so, win. Yeah. They got that game 57 to 43. But right now it's the Redbirds with the basketball shot a little bit short from Hartshorn. 
And here come the Pennington Red Raiders. The ball is going to be kicked away. Artorn getting a foot on that one, denying the pass. Hey, what? This has really been total Pennington domination. It's surprising it's just 7-2 to two right now. Timeout on the floor. A 30-second timeout called by the Allentown Redbirds. And so we'll keep it right here, let you know that the Italian People's Bakery, proud to support high school sports on WBCB. Visit them at their signature location, 63 Butler Street, for the finest rolls, deli meats, and pastries. Drive by, smell the homemade bread made daily, or have them cater your next party or affair. The Italian People's Bakery, 63 Butler Street, the place to go for the best hoagie Sunday afternoons, the finest dessert trays for your special get-together. 63 Butler Street, that's their signature location, stores in New Jersey and Pennsylvania, the Italian People's Bakery, since 1936. Red Raiders with the basketball as Rice sends it in play. Diamond Christian tries to get it across the Hartshorn. Maybe Lucchese had it there. And now it's going to be a jumper that is in and out for Rice. They battle underneath, and they're going to say that's a tie-up. Nice job by Ayana Johnson and Maddie McCray. Both had a piece of that rebound. Yeah, Maddie McCray did a good job on that. Johnson had the rebound. Maddie McCray's done some nice hustle stuff today since she's been in. Came in when White went down. She's done a, some nice things. Well, there with the dribble, brought it down the floor, was stopped by Leia Johnson, and now it's Ryan Weesey. We'll get it into the high post, get it right back. Dribble to the top of the key, and now drive on the left side. And they'll say she got tied up. That time, Ayana Johnson with her hand on the basketball. This time, the arrow favoring the Red Raiders. Well, both teams kind of kind of scuffling here. You know, it's your first time in this arena. Well, Allentown's been here the last couple of years. Pennington, you know, a lot of their players might be their first time in this arena. And uh, it's, it's different. The dimensions are different, the, you know. The Long pass to Lucchese, and then it's a steal as here comes Allentown. A shot on the left side, that's no good. It was a putback there for yeah, Allentown. McCray, McCray had the putback, but they, Allentown was just missing shots. I mean, Driving the baseline that time was Rice. Good defense, I believe. That time it was Katie White. Had a little part of that shot as we're under two minutes left in the first quarter. This time White tries to bounce it inside on one side. That's no good, but she looks the other way. And she finds Lauren Chianti, who has two. And it's 7-4 now, Pennington. That's a very good look by White. Nice job. Lucchese will drive in, pull up for the jumper from about 10 feet away and drain it. Gianna Lucchese has five now. And one, as Ryan Weesey gets the whistle, count the bucket. And that's a couple times now we've seen the Redbirds try to send the ball down the floor quickly, catch the Pennington defense napping. That time they were able to do that as Ryan Weesey gets two and a foul shot. I, I, I think I confused things. Chianti had that last basket, that's right. White had the assist. Don't mind me. <laughs> The three-point play is good as Weesey hits from the line. 9-7, to seven, so Allentown, despite a, a, what you have to consider a rocky start, right in this ball game. Now making it difficult for the Red Raiders to get the ball up the floor. Pennington, though, gives it to Rice. Now over to Christian. Look at it inside to the high post. Ayanna Johnson will drive on the right side and lay it in. Ayanna Johnson... Makes it 11-7, Pennington. Ryan Weesey with the dribble spin and inside. She's going to tie up Ayanna Johnson. This time the arrow favoring Allentown. Under a minute left here in the first quarter. Winner will move on to play either TCA or Notre Dame in the final. Ryan Weesey gets the inbound, puts the shot up. Gets it to go, and the whistle. That bucket will make it 11-9, Pennington. Great inbounds by Lauren Conte. Um, she was on a receiving end of a nice pass and just made a nice pass. Weesey came cutting in. Conte 
find found her, and boom, we see two straight three-point plays. And she was fouled there by Mia Justice now getting some minutes for the Red Raiders. Diamond Christian trapped. She'll bounce it to Lucchese. Lucchese puts it on the floor, and now Ayanna Johnson driving the baseline on the left side, tries to put the shot up. It's knocked away from her. She regains it. Christian now will drive her one-handed running shot off glass too strong. Weesey up the floor. Allentown now will give it back to Weesey. She fires one from way downtown. Yeah. That was NBA distance three, and it missed everything. So now it's Red Raider basketball. Diamond Christian will hold here. Final 10 seconds, and they'll look to get the last shot. Ayanna Johnson has it in the high post, and she can't hold that pivot foot. Called for the travel. The paint has been a little sloppy, too. That's her fifth turnover. And a lot of them were kind of unforced. Leaves just over six seconds remaining here in the first quarter. Weesey will bring it up the floor. Now give it up to White. White recognizes there's not much time, and so she'll get the shot off. It would have counted, but too strong. And we come to the end of the first quarter. Pennington on top of Allentown, 11-10 to 10 here in the Mercer County Tournament semifinal. We'll be right back to the Cure Insurance Arena after this. The Red Raiders with their black jerseys and red numerals. The Redbirds with their... White jerseys and red numerals get back to action here. Second quarter begins with <clears throat> Allentown down by just one. And just, go ahead. Looked like in the early going, at least, the Red Raiders were going to pull away. I was going to say, this is confusing to say these names, but the Red Raiders and the Red Birds. <laughs> yeah. That, that's up and good from Diamond Christian. That was a three. Thank you, Bob. Uh, she was right near the line. But that'll make it 14 to 10. Allentown with it out deep. Hartshorn into the low post to White. And now back out up top as the Redbirds reset. They get it to Ryan Weesey. Gianna Lucchese trying to play Ryan Weesey. Those two probably friends growing up. Now a, a three ball. No good as Hartshorn misses everything. The ball goes out of bounds and back to Pennington. Yeah, it's it's hard to shoot. I mean, it's hard to shoot with this kind of when you when you don't have that gym wall right behind you. There's another turnover. Yeah, that time Pennington tried to get it to Ayana Johnson off of her hands, and now inside, good defense by Johnson. Uh, she's going to tie up Ryan Weesey. We're seeing a lot of tie ups today. Possession arrow favoring the Redbirds. Yeah, when a game, when there's a tournament intensity going on, you, you usually do see that because everybody's going after that ball a little bit more. As Ryan Weesey now drives in, tries to scoop it, it goes off the bottom of the backboard. White has a follow up, that's no good. She has another chance off glass and won't fall for her. So here come the Pennington Red Raiders. Diamond Christian with the dribble all the way across the court to Lucchese. If Katie White could cash in on some of her putbacks, she's getting some offensive boards. They get it into Johnson. They'll double team her. She'll pass out of that one. Get it to Carly Rice. And Rice has her first two of the afternoon. Makes it Pennington 16, Allentown 10. Yeah, you're not going to keep Carly Rice down too long. Again, Allentown. They get the basketball to Ryan Weesey. She'll tap the top of the head and get the play going. Step out, fire off a three. That's no good. Long rebound is gathered up by White. White to Weesey, and now a kick out. And then that jump shot, they're going to get the whistle there as Diamond Christian over. She fouls Lauren Chianti. Sends her to the line for a couple of attempts. Allentown needing to hit from the line here. Getting some trips to the stripe and doing a good job. Yeah, three for three so far. Maddie McRae back out for Allentown. To the bench goes Borkowski. Second shot from the line. 
is also good. Chianti gets them both. She has four points. Her team trails by four. Red Raiders bringing it up the floor. They get it to Ayana Johnson. Now Diamond Christian will drive on the right side. Offensive rebound from Leia Johnson. She gets the bucket and the whistle. As her putback is good. Makes it 18 to 12. If one Johnson doesn't get you, the other one does. Johnson and Johnson. Cleaning up. <laughs> here, to here, <laughs> here at the Cure Insurance Arena. Shot a little bit short from Leah Johnson. And Allentown now will bring it up the floor. They get it to Katie White. Out deep. Gives it to Ryan Weesey. Yeah, Weesey going to slow it down, let him set up. Pennington on a little bit of a run now, so. Weesey there will step in, thought about a shot. Instead, gives it up to White. And now, one from way downtown. That time, it was Hartshorn giving it a try. Not a high percentage shot right there. As Diamond Christian will drive the baseline, try to get it to Leia Johnson. It's off of her foot. And Allentown will drive. Chianti gets the whistle. And another trip to the free throw line. And you had mentioned it before, Chris. The free throw line has kind of been Allentown's friend here in this game. They're 4 for 4 from the line, while Pennington is 0 for 3. So it makes a pretty big difference. Helping them stay in here as Carly Rice was whistled for that foul. <laughs> Jinxed again. And the first free throw rattles out for Allentown. Chianti can't get either shot. Still a six-point game. Pennington with the lead in the basketball. They get it into Ayana Johnson, who puts it on the floor, drives, gives it up to her sister on the other side of the paint, and she'll bank it home. It's 20-12. to 12. Now Pennington. That was well done by Ayana Johnson. It looked like she was going all the way in. They kind of collapsed on her. She just gave it to her sister. Now nearly a steal, and instead it's going to be a tie-up. A nice job by Lucchese to get to the floor. And the arrow favoring the Red Raiders. So the Pennington uh, girls get the basketball back. Back onto the floor comes Borkowski. I'm willing to bet Ayanna Johnson's made a pass like that to her sister about a gazillion times in their careers. You know, I seems like the Red Raiders are kind of sticking with their starters. A three ball, why not, when Diamond Christian is knocking them down like that. It's 23-12. to 12. I'll be honest, I don't think either team goes too deep, Chris. I think they, they'll probably go 6-7 maybe, unless it, you know, gets out of hand. Weesey gives it up. Chianti will drive, take contact. Her shot goes off the bottom of the rim, but she'll get the whistle. And it's another trip to the line for Allentown. Yeah, and again, Chianti. Line. Yeah, she's uh, doing a good job. Got to hit these. I mean, this is getting, this is their biggest lead now, Pennington. Her third trip to the stripe misses the first of two. Yeah, she made her first two, and now she's missed three straight. Allentown looking to hang in there. That one is going to come up short. An 11-point Pennington lead, and they want to open that up now. Lucchese with the basketball, hands it off to Diamond Christian, who would dribble out, put the offense in motion. Yeah, Allentown did such a good job of getting back into this game, and now Pennington's just completely taking control again, even more so than they did in the first quarter. Out top, Lucchese has it. Gets it into Leia Johnson. Makes a move inside, and she'll get the whistle. And another trip to the line. Well, they got to make one sooner or later, right? Leia Johnson just... She's tough to stop. Ability to use her shoulders to kind of shield off defenders. Yeah. But your best bet there is to try to deny her the ball. Don't let her get it, because... She gets the first, makes it 24-12. to 12. Yeah, when she has it where she wants it. 
Yeah, look out. Difficult to stop Leia Johnson or Ayana Johnson. She can't get the second free throw. And we get down to 315 left here in the first half. Allentown needing a bucket. They'll get it to Maddie McCray, who hands it off to Weesey. Yeah, and, and, and this is good. Don't panic. Just work it around. Look for a good shot. Weesey now gets it back, steps out from beyond the arc, fires off a shot that's no good. It bounces around, and it was last touched by the Redbirds. So, Pennington basketball as the Red Raiders will inbound. Ryan Weesey just has a tough time shooting threes here. Shannon. Same thing happened last year. She does everything else but like she usually does. Great pass and everything good. She just has trouble finding the range here from the perimeter. Now driving is Rice. She'll fire up the shot in the paint. Going to be no good. There's a whistle underneath, and that goes against Pennington. That one's going to go against Leia Johnson. Fouls on Pennington, so next one puts Allentown at one on one. The inbound to Ryan Weesey brings it over midcourt. She'll bounce it to Chianti. Gets a screen. Nice look inside as she gets it to Hadley Borkowski, who finishes for two and makes it a 10 point game. It's Pennington 24, Allentown 14. Chianti's pretty savvy. She does a nice job with that passing. I mean, one of the questions uh, I just got here from our video engineer is that, you know, all the different lines there on the floor, do you think that messes with the, the shooters? You uh, got the, the NBA three-point line, the college three-point line, and good, the high good. school three-point line. Yeah, very, very well could, yeah. And then from way downtown, yeah, that was an NBA three, so, you know, Rice firing from... Distance can hit. There's a whistle underneath. That one's going to go against the Redbirds. Good, good, uh, good observation, video engineer. <laughs> Foul called against Borkowski. I think sometimes the dimensions for a shooter, when you don't have anything behind the basket, can. Well, yeah, that's that. That's a big thing. I mean, that's a really big thing because you you. It really does. It screws you up. I mean, if you've ever, even, you know, those of us that haven't played at high levels, we've all played basketball in gyms, and then you, when you come to a big arena, it, it, it does, it's it's weird. Ayanna Johnson can't hit from the line. Remains a 10-point game. But, yeah, I mean, that three-point line, I, don't, I have no idea why there's an NBA three-point line here. <laughs> now putting it on the floor is Maddie McCray. She tries to kick out. Nearly loses the handle, and it is loose, and is going to be bounced out of bounds by McCray. A turnover back to the Pennington Red Raiders. I guess maybe years ago they used to have uh, some really bad league play here, and, they, and they, one year they had a, I think a Sixers-Nets preseason game here or something. Well, we were talking about some of the primetime shootouts. Not that that would be a reason for an NBA <laughs> three-point line. Say, dude, Diamond Christian lays that in. On the right side, makes it 26-14. Boy, Diamond Christian sure can penetrate, can't she? She just gets so smooth going to that basket. Now Ryan Weesey takes a bump from Lucchese, gets the shot off. It's no good, but give her two from the line. Some minor league NBA basketball here. I used to cover that years ago, back in like 2000. Trenton Shooting Stars, it was called. They used to get about 100 people a game. They used to announce the attendance as 2,000. <laughs> <laughs> so far, Ryan Weesey is perfect from the line. She's four for four. <laughs> I, could, I could tell you guys stories about that league. <laughs> maybe, maybe better for off air. <laughs> nah, nothing. Dirty, just, just just bizarre. Well, what's happening? <laughs> Luke Casey. I don't know. I don't know. I know that the shooting stars had three, three or four coaches that first year. <laughs> three or four different coaches. <laughs> they had Kevin Mackey, the old Cleveland State coach. Greg Grant was a coach. 
uh, for a while. They just kept coming and going. Ralph Sampson came into the league and coached for a little bit. Wow. Yeah. It was, but, boy, was it weird. Chianti shot on the left side. No good. Diamond Christian will gather up the bouncing ball. And she'll get it knocked away from her. It goes out of bounds. It will stay with Pennington. Just 27 seconds remaining in the first half. And Katie White back to the floor for Allentown. Hadley Borkowski to the bench for Coach Weesey. Yeah, Coach Weesey said they really need to do what they can to kind of keep this team in check on the glass. And so far, it's been a big Pennington advantage in that regard. Sure has. Now on the break, Allentown, they get it to Hartshorn, but it goes off of her foot. And now Rice Watch her. Watch over her. to Christian, splits defenders, running one-handed shot. Would have been good, but won't go through. For Diamond Christian, the horn sounds, and the first half comes to a close with the Pennington Red Raiders out in front, 26 to 16, as they take on the Allentown Redbirds here in the Mercer County Tournament semifinal. And so right now it's the three seed looking to upset the two seed. We'll be right back, take a look at first half scoring in just a little bit, and get you ready for second half action. It's coming up here on WBCB. Neurosurgeons of nearby Capital Health up the visitors on the scoreboard. They are led by Diamond Christian with 12 points. Gianna Lucchese's got five. Leah Johnson's got five. Elena, Ayanna Johnson's got two. Carly Rice has just two, which that shows you how deep Carl Pennington is when they're up 10 and their leading scorer has two points. Uh, the Red Raiders are shooting 11 for 22 from the field, one for seven from the foul line. So this could be a lot worse if they were hitting their foul shots. For Allentown, Ryan weesey has got eight. Uh, Lauren Chianti's got four. Hadley Borkowski and Maddie McRae, two apiece. Redbirds are shooting just five for 24 from the field, six for eight from the free throw line. Redbirds had just one basket, Chris, in that second quarter. Shot one for nine. And the rebounding is about what we thought, 19 to 13 Pennington. Ianna Johnson has seven rebounds, eight, eight rebounds, excuse me. Um, but, you know, I, you know, it seemed to me like the Redbirds really tightened that up. Like the uh, rebounding advantage was uh, a lot more lopsided early in the first quarter where Pennington was really dominating the glass. And for them to be at 19-13, you know, that, yeah. they, well, it you was, look at that as kind of glass half full maybe. It was 10-6 after the first quarter. So it was 9-7 in the second quarter. So, uh, yeah, I mean, they had started out like I think it was 6-1. to one. So... You know, you take six to one and take that away, and it's uh, let's see, twelve, twelve. So, yeah, you're right. I mean, after that early start, but um, Allentown's just not converting. I mean, they're getting they're getting some putbacks, but I think they're kind of rushing them back up there, and they're and they're rolling off the rim. Al uh, Pennington's just getting a great game from Diamond Christian. She's shooting four, four for five for eight from the field and uh, I'm sorry five for nine with two three pointers and uh, she's either hitting threes or just penetrating to the basket and uh, you know and, and then they got some balance after that with Leah Johnson and Gianna Lucchese with five each and uh, it's, it's just it's, it's a shame for Allentown because they were down this looked like it was going to be a blowout early when it was seven to two and nine to you know nine to four and Allentown did a nice job. Ryan Weesey hit a couple of three-point plays, a couple of N1s then that first quarter and pulled them within a point. But then Allentown just could not find the bucket. And, again, there's just so many things that they try to have answers for. I mean, what do you, what do you worry about? Do you worry about the Johnson sisters inside? Do you worry about, you know, uh, do, do you worry about Diamond Christian? Well, she can do a little bit of everything. Carly Rice, she's she's only got two points, and she's their leading scorer. And she's got 50 in the tournament so far. Right, and you leave Gianna Lucchese open for a three, mm -hmm. and she knocks that down yep. in the first half. Yep. I mean, they're, they're, they just have a lot of weapons. Allentown plays hard. I mean, they're, they're, they're hustling. 
Katie White, Lauren Keontae, Maddie McRae, we said, came in off the bench and, uh, you know, did a lot of hustle plays, but at some point, you got to put the ball in the basket, and Allentown's having a lot of trouble doing that. Um, you know, just six points, and like I said, one basket in the second quarter. You, you, you got to... I don't know what Lynn told him at halftime, but I mean something's got to something's got to change as far as getting better looks or just relaxing when they shoot the ball or something. Uh, I mean, like we said, Ryan Weesey's having trouble hitting the three. She was 0 for three from behind the arc in that quarter. And, you know, I think if I'm if I'm Coach Jeff Eckerson, Rich, I'm just saying stick with the game plan because oh. this is this is kind of how we drew it up, right. and and right now. Sure. You know, just continue to execute. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if if <laughs> if I'm panicked, then the only thing that I'm concerned about is that Carly Rice has two points, but I'm not concerned about that because I'm up by ten points, and it's almost like, well, we know she's going to get her sooner or later. Um, so, you know, uh, it, it's all it's all just good. Um, yeah, Pennington now in the in this semifinal round for the second time in three years, Rich. They lost in 2016 to Notre Dame, but they are poised to move on to the Mercer County Tournament final game here as they are up by 10 at the half. But Allentown, the Redbirds, going to have something to say about that as we get back to action here on WBCB. It's brought to you by the Trentonian, and you can read all about tonight's, today's games in tomorrow's Trentonian. Actually, we have a quadruple header of high school basketball here on the WBCB network. And read about them in tomorrow's Trentonian, outstanding local and national sports coverage that you can count on seven days a week. It's all in the pages of the Trentonian. It mentioned that primetime shootout, and uh, one of the Cure Insurance Arena staffers came up, was talking to us before the game, and said, I remember the days they had LeBron here, Carmelo Anthony here, and we even mentioned, as part of the Mercer County Tournament, Malachi Richardson. <laughs> right playing here on this floor. Right, yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, there's been some big names that's come through on this floor, that's for sure. I'm sure some were missing, but uh, you talk about LeBron, Carmelo, and even Malachi Richardson. They even had a rap star on here. Master P was playing for a, well, that, a team in that league I was just talking about, <laughs> which I can't even remember what the name of that league was now. But but Bob Giaquinto told us off the air that he came to one game. <laughs> nice ball movement from the Allentown Redbirds as we are back to action. They get it to Lauren Chianti. She'll lay it in on the left side and make it 26-18. That's a great start for Allentown. A nicely run play. They finished it. How about that, though? <laughs> Diamond Christian answers right back as she'll drive down the heart of the lane and scoop that one in. To get back to a 10-point game, Pennington on top. Byron Christian looks like just whatever she wants to, she can just drive to the basket. That time, score. able to get the ball to Ryan Weesey right there on the block. She turned, put up the shot. It was no good, went out of bounds. Red Raider basketball. As they'll bring it up the floor, Rice over to Christian over midcourt. They get it inside to Ayana Johnson, and then Carly Rice will fire one from three. Kind of hurried that shot. It missed everything. Lucchese will have an opportunity from beyond the arc. That's no good, and then Ayana Johnson is going to be tied up. She had the rebound. Nice hands inside. I think that was Maddie McCray. Also had a piece of that basketball. The arrow stays with Pennington. Yeah. Keep it down here with the Red Raiders. Leah Johnson will turn, put it on the floor. Give it to her sister. Get it right back from her. Clear out some space. A little contact down there. Her shot's no good. And here comes Allentown. Chianti took it all the way into the paint, but then lost the handle and gave it up to Rice. Yeah, I got a little too excited. Nice pass across to Ayana Johnson. Who was that? That was from Diamond Christian. Nice look inside. And then Johnson is going to get fouled. They'll call that on Hartshorn. And put Ayanna Johnson on the line for a couple of shots. She's been cold from the stripe this afternoon. Yeah, she's 0 for 4 so far. That one off the mark. I wonder if she's kind of struggling mentally, because that, that was really bad right there. That was like to the side of the basket and on the lower side of the lower end of the backboard. Back to the floor, Maddie McCray for Allentown. Shot up, 
Oh, this one a little bit short. Almost got the bounce. Leia Johnson is there for the offensive rebound. Her shot is no good, and then she's going to sit on the basketball, and that'll be a tie-up as she had possession shared with Katie White, and Redbirds get the arrow. I'm not sure because we're kind of high up, but Maddie McCray looked like she might have gotten a piece of that follow-up. Uh, I can't really tell. Now they'll dribble in and pull back out again. Allentown trailing by 10. Chianti harassed by Christian. Oh. Nice ball movement as oh. they get it inside, but a lid on the bucket that time for Hartshorn. Had a point-blank shot. Oh, and then oh. over there by the scorer's table, they go spilling into the table. Yeah. And nice to see both of the young ladies getting back to their feet as that was Hartshorn over there. It looked like maybe Lucchese. And I think Lucchese got the worst of it. As or is that it, Lucchese standing up over her? Uh, no, that's Rice. Yeah, that's Lucchese who got, took, the, took a tumble. Yeah, she went down hard. Well, went down hard. Almost looked like her head might have made contact with the corner of that scorer's table. And right now, well, she's getting some attention. Ponytail, so she looks like she's okay. Boy, Allentown, I, I, I tell you what, that last drive to the hoop, you, you just hate to see that. And no matter who you, see, who, you, who you see playing, when you have a really nice play, a really nice, well-run play, and then you just don't finish it off, you miss the, the layup. It's... Lucchese gets a nice round of applause as uh, she takes a seat on the bench. And she'll get a little bit of attention there from the trainer. She points, kind of points out where she made contact. I think she's saying she just brushed against the cloth. Good. Good. Did not actually hit the table. Hopefully yeah. that's the case. I mean, that's, you know, you, God, if she does hit, uh, you, you hate to think what would happen. Because she went down hard and she was still going fast. I mean, it's kind of like a nightmare scenario for us at WBCB when we're down there courtside and somebody comes flying and, yeah, we, we certainly don't want anybody to bounce off of any tables, that's for sure. No. Or hit us and then sue us. <laughs> Well, that's why we don't have a cushy life. Yeah. <laughs> the hazard pay sometimes can be dangerous. Very dangerous. Well, here we're high atop the Cure Insurance Arena watching Diamond Christian have a big afternoon. She gets three more right there, makes it 31-18. to 18. She's on fire. She's got 17 right now. Now Chianti will dribble in, pull back out, give it to Ryan Weesey, who looks over to her mother coach. And now inside, they get it to Katie White. She's going to get fouled in the attempt. Shot comes up just a little short. Leah Johnson called for the foul. They don't put the team fouls up there, and I haven't been able to keep track. I mean, the one thing Allentown can hope for is to try to get some of those big girls in foul trouble. White hits the first free throw. Makes it 31-19, gets them both. And it's an 11-point game. Pennington on top with the basketball. They get it up the floor to Diamond Christian. Who will just slow it down. Put the offense in motion. Toss it over to Carly Rice. Rice to Ayana Johnson, who has it out deep. Will put it on the floor, drive the baseline, kick out. Nice little bounce pass inside. And a traveling violation. Yeah, called against so. Diamond Christian. Again on the floor, Mia Justice getting some minutes. There's a video guy down there under the basket. I don't like him taking Rich King's thunder here. <laughs> <laughs> I want Rich King to be the man in this place. Well, he's the man here at WBCB, no That's question. That's right. <laughs> Maddie McCray gives it up to Weesey. Weesey takes it to the foul line, then kick out to Chianti. Who will, excuse me, now it's Katie White, 50, not 30. Katie White gets the bucket, makes it 31-22. So it's Pennington has been out in front, but Redbird's not going away. That three won't fall for the Raiders. And here come the Redbirds, Chianti over midcourt. Basket here could really give them some confidence. They scored four straight. Pass inside, almost knocked loose. They're able to hold on to it. 
And again, that was behind the NBA line. Behind the yeah. NBA line, way back there for Ryan Weesey. Diana Johnson with 11 rebounds now. Lucchese fakes a pass, now gives it up. Justice with it at the foul line. She'll give it up to Carly Rice, who's been held in check today. But her team's still out in front by nine. Lucchese with it as we're more than midway through the third quarter. Yeah, Ryan Weesey, not only do they expect her to do a lot on offense, she's, she's doing cover Carly Rice. I don't know, they just switched off there. That's true, they must let her play in the zone. Lucchese for three off the front of the rim, no diamond. Christian has it. Takes it strong to the hole and gets the whistle. Fouled by Katie White. It's the only way to stop her. At least today. We'll stop her for the moment, but you put her on the line. Yeah. And well, actually, this is her first, uh, first chances. Attempt. I bet you she can make free throws. Maybe not. <laughs> well, that time, a little bit off the mark. Yeah. But I, I think you're probably right. 3.36 left in the third quarter. Winner moves on to play in the Mercer County Tournament Final on Thursday. We'll have that for you on WBCB. Diamond Christian drops the second free throw through and again makes it a 10-point game. Pennington out in front. Katie White, nice pass inside to McCray. She'll finish off glass on the left side. Again, get it to eight. Really impressed with the way Allentown, some of the passes Allentown's made. They really do tend to find each other when you're open underneath. Running shot from Diamond Christian is no good, but on the floor, fighting for possession is going to be Ayanna Johnson. Carly Rice will try one from distance. That's no good. They get the rebound, but then they throw it away to Lucchese. She'll drive and get the whistle. Well. Now you know Ayanna Johnson's a good rebounder. She's getting rebounds on the floor. <laughs> Doesn't even have to be big to get them. She can just lay on the floor well, and get them. I mean, that, that's where you got to credit the effort of Pennington here. Yeah. As Lucchese off the mark with her first. Hearts weren't back to the floor. As Allentown makes a change. Casey hits that one. Makes it 33 to 24. Redbirds now get it into Ryan Weesey. High post action. Likes the matchup. She turns yeah. on Lucchese. Tries to put it off glass and spin it in. No good. Just a little bit short. Ayanna Johnson with the rebound. Here comes Justice. Kick out to Christian. She'll drive the baseline. But she's going to step on the end line and turn it over. Either that or she just dribbled it off of her foot out of bounds. Either way, yeah, goes back to the so. Redbirds. Again, we are high atop the Cure Insurance Arena. Yeah, that guy down there behind the bucket probably has a better view. Yeah, I think so. Well, we used to be out on the floor. They moved us up here last year. That pass is thrown away. And that's the Redbirds can't afford to do that. As they'll give it up to Pennington. Yeah, I mean, every possession is becoming pretty important right now if you, when you're down by nine. Still been hanging in this one. Yeah, they, yeah there's a turnover. As a turnover, the Redbirds get it back. They'll get it up to Ryan Weesey, and she'll finish the job with the layup. That wasn't easy either. She had Carly Rice right there with her. She's got ten points, and she makes it a seven-point game. Lucchese for Pennington gets it to Justice. Mia Justice puts it on the floor. That's a mistake. She's in heavy traffic, yeah. and she's going to get tied up. Fortunately for her, Pennington has the arrow. And Diamond Christian will go over to inbound. Under two minutes left in the third quarter, Diamond Christian gets it back, tries one from the corner. No good off the front of the rim. Oh, nice ball movement as they'll get it down to Maddie McCray, but her shot is negated by Ayanna Johnson with the block. Big play right there defensively. Pennington now, ball movement to Lucchese for three. Swish. Wow, big defensive play and then a big three by Lucchese. You're talking about making it a five-point game, and now all of a sudden it's a ten-point game. And again, the Redbirds get it down the floor quickly. 
And they'll get the whistle and send Ryan Weesey to the line for two shots. And they've done that on a number of Red Raider makes. They'll quickly get somebody down the floor, throw a long pass down there, and that's netted them a couple of buckets and now a trip to the line. Yes, first one good from Weesey. Again, makes it a nine-point game. Pennington has had the advantage all afternoon, but they have not been able to establish a lot of distance here. Redbirds hanging around. She makes the second, and it's a seven-point game. Yeah, their biggest lead was uh, 13, actually, 31-18. Nice job, Diamond Christian, with great ball movement as she'll bounce it to Ayana Johnson, and Johnson will bank it home. It's 38-28. Now Ryan Weesey setting up a screen, little pick and roll action with Maddie McCray, gets it back to her, and Maddie McCray has two. Again, nicely done by Allentown. Yeah. Allentown makes a nice play, and then Diamond Christian just comes down and does something really cool. <laughs> She's got the basketball again out on the wing, guarded by Chianti. She'll dribble away from her. Her bounce pass nearly stolen, a little bump right there. And Linda Weesey, Coach Weesey doesn't like that call. I think she's got a point, as Luke Casey looked like she had made contact. Knocking one of the Redbirds to the floor. But it will be Pennington basketball. 40 seconds left in the third. Yeah. And that time, Christian gets it knocked away. Is that karma? Running the floor and finishing at the other end is going to be Chianti. And one. Wow. Lauren Chianti gets the hoop and the harm, makes it 38-32, Pennington with that bucket. And she can cut this down to a five-point advantage. This could be as close as they get since the beginning of the second quarter when it was 16-12. She hits it. And it is a five-point game. Now the Red Raiders with some pressure in the backcourt, but they'll get it to Diamond Christian. She'll bring it over midcourt, get it to Carly Reich. She'll pull up for the one-handed running shot, knock it down, make it 40 to 33. And then at the other end, they try to get it inside as they were looking that time for Hartshorn. It's knocked away from her out of bounds. Nice little floater there by Carly Reich. It was nice. Just her... Second bucket yeah. of the afternoon. As they'll get it into Maddie McCray. She's got an open look. But it's short. Now six seconds, five seconds left for Pennington. They get it to Rice, who has a long shot. And that one comes up well short. The horn sounds with the third quarter coming to a close. It's the Pennington Red Raiders 40 and the Allentown Redbirds 33 here in the Mercer County Tournament Semi. Right back, fourth quarter, coming up next on BCB. Every child deserves a quality. As we get to fourth quarter action, the Pennington Red Raiders have held the Allentown Redbirds at arm's length throughout this game, but they have not been able to put them away, and it will be the Redbirds starting with the basketball in the fourth as Chianti brings it over midcourt. Yeah, that was, uh, Allentown scored more in that quarter than they did combined in the first and second quarters. They had 16 first half points, 17 third quarter points. Right there, it was Hartshorn who was trying to find Chianti, a long pass, and it ends up being a turnover. Yeah, they're, they're just... They didn't need that. <laughs> they certainly didn't. <laughs> Ayanna Johnson, I, I, you didn't need, you know, to try for that long kind of pass, oh, I, right, I think. Right, right, right. Leah Johnson turns, she had a... The basketball close to the bucket. Couldn't get that one to go through. How about Diamond Christian? Aside from her 18 points, she's got eight rebounds as a guard. And now she'll get it to Rice. Oh, wow. And Rice will turn and shoot and drain the three. Rice Impressive. Is, Rice said, uh, I'll let you guys have your fun. <laughs> Makes it a 10-point game. And where Diamond Christian leaves off, Rice picks up. Now stepping in, just inside the arc, Chianti will fire off a shot. And it's going to be Ayana Johnson with the rebound. 
over midcourt comes Rice. Gets it now to Christian. Gets it back from her. And she's feeling it. Pulls the trigger again from beyond the arc. This time it's going to be no good. A whistle underneath the bucket called against Ayanna Johnson. Stops the clock with 6.48 left in quarter number four. Wall-to-wall -wall basketball here on WBCB this afternoon. The Mercer County Tournament semifinals. This game one of four as the Redbirds trail by ten. With the basketball, Ryan Weesey to the foul line. McCray, Maddie McCray, tries to rattle that home. It won't fall for her. Goes out of bounds. Last touched by Ayanna Johnson. So stays with Allentown. Yeah, Maddie McCray got, got caught in no man's land trying to either swish it or put it off the backboard. And it, it went in between. Weesey pump fake draws the defense. Gives it up to Katie White. And she'll finish for two. Making an eight-point game. They try to get it down low to Leia Johnson. It's off of her hands. Saved from going out of bounds there by Maddie McCray. Well, you're right, Chris. Allentown is just one run, one spurt from really putting the pressure on Pennington. Yeah, but you got to credit the Red Raiders. They're not allowing that to happen as Ryan yeah. Weesey for three. Can't get that one to fall. I was on target, but just off the back of the rim. Yeah, Manny McCray sent a nice screen there. We see wide open, but just can't get it to fall. Now Rice will drive into the foul line, kick out Ayanna Johnson with the baseline jumper. Knocks it down. Makes it a 10-point game, 45-35. Pennington on top, Allentown with the ball, we see gets a screen, gives it back to Katie White. Katie White from about 17 feet out knocks it down. It's refreshing to see a high school player with a nice little short range jumper. Kind of mid-range game there on display yeah. for the Redbirds and a timeout is called by Pennington as right now coach Jeff Eckerson doesn't like what he is seeing out there and he wants to talk it over with 5-10 left here in the fourth quarter. And see if that's going to be a full timeout or a 30-second. And uh, we'll keep it right here, let you know that tonight's game is brought to you by the Trentonian. If you missed or miss any of the action here on WBCB, read about today's games and tomorrow's Trentonian. Outstanding local and national sports coverage that you can count on seven days a week. It's all in the pages of the Trentonian. And I see some of the TCA guys down there getting ready for their game, which will follow this one yeah. as the Iron Mikes take on the Trenton Central Tornadoes. I'm excited for that game. The way Trenton's been playing, and we know what TCA can do. Game won by the North Stars. Switching direction is going to be Diamond Christian. Gives it up to Leia Johnson. Johnson at point-blank range. Can't quite get it to go. And then on the other side, it's going to be her sister who gets the offensive rebound, and she'll be fouled and go to the line. 16 rebounds for Ayanna Johnson right now. Well, here you go, Chris. Think how bad this would be if the foul situation was different. Allentown, 11 for 13 from the line. 11 for 13, that's good. Pennington, 3 for 13. 4 for 14. And then Ayanna Johnson gets her first. So they've missed 10 free throws. Gets her first free throw of two, and then... Her first free throw of the afternoon. That one off the mark. And a, a nine-point game. The Redbirds trying to cut into this lead. Yeah, it's been, it's just been frustrating for them. They get a little close, and then... Three from Weesey. No good long rebound. It's loose on the floor, but it's going to go off of Chianti and out of bounds just in front of Coach Linda Weesey. Another opportunity right there missed. Well, I'll tell you, if Weesey could just hit one, it probably would just lift her confidence. You'd probably see her hit like four in a row. Leia Johnson from about 15 feet out tries to shot. That's no good. A nice job by Maddie McCray to knock that one loose, bringing it down the floor for Allentown. <clears throat> Hartshorn gives it up to Chianti at the top of the key. Now Weesey has it out on the wing from way downtown. Again, her shot is in and out. And another three ball that's beyond that NBA mark. So. Yeah. 
maybe something to what Bob Giaquinto clued us into. That uh, the, the guy's a genius. He should be sitting here. I should be running the engineer thing. Of course, we wouldn't have a picture. Yeah, that's <laughs> that would be a problem. Well, he could do uh, he could do what Saint Ives did the other day. Announce and do it all. Do it all. Yeah, video engineer, play uh, by play. That time, Chianti bangs into Diamond Christian, knocks her to the floor. Foul me. on the floor, but going to be a one and one. Are you all right, Mr. Giaquinto? You were had a little fender bender the other night. I want to make sure you're doing okay. Yeah, that's why Matt St. Ange was called right. to double duty. That's what made remind me of that. <laughs> well, I was at another game, and I called Bob. I was at the Pro Football Report, oh. and I, I was having some technical issues. Who do you call? You call Bob. There you go. And he said, you know what? I can't talk now, guy. <laughs> I just was in an accident. Actually, he helped me out quite a bit. As Diamond Christian hits him from the line, makes it 48-37. to 37. As it goes off of Maddie McRae, it's another Redbirds turnover. And they're just kind of some mistakes that are unforced right now. Yeah, the wheels are starting to come off a little bit here. Uh, Allentown trying to press. And Pennington would love to take advantage right here. They're up by 11. Their largest lead has been 13. Lucchese nearly threw that one away. Diamond Christian able to pick it up on the floor. Gives it up to Leia Johnson, now out deep to Rice. I said earlier that Allentown's one little run from getting back in it. Well, Pennington's one little run from blowing it, it away. Out. Yeah. yeah. Leia Johnson, now they get, get it out to Diamond Christian. Passes it back to Rice. Nice ball movement. Yeah. From the Red Raiders, just playing keep away right now, yeah. taking time off the clock. Why not? Limiting the number of possessions as they're up by 11 and forcing the Redbirds to run around defensively. Carly Rice over to Leia Johnson. Diamond Christian has it, puts it on the floor again, just passing it around. And now finally they're going to foul. I believe that was Katie White with the reach in. Yeah, it's white. And a timeout on the floor. Called by the Allentown Redbirds. They trail Pennington 48-37. to And we'll step aside. We'll be right back here to the Cure Insurance Arena for more of our coverage of the Mercer County Tournament. Fourth quarter. And Carly Rice at the line for the Red Raiders up by 11. Looking to stretch that out. One and one. Misses the front end. But it's an offensive rebound by Ayana Johnson. Tries to get it back to Rice and it's stolen away by Chianti. Now here comes Hartshorn. Nice ball movement up to Maddie McCray. And McCray who bounced around there and drops through for her. Again makes it a nine point game. And now Ryan Weesey fouls Rice in the backcourt. And a little early to start a parade to the line. Uh, I don't know, because it, it looked like... But that may be the, the the way they're approaching it. Think about the way Pennington shot foul shots today. Um, you know, they're, they're actually three for five in this quarter, which is their best effort so far. But look, they've missed two front ends now. Rice, one of their better free throw shooters, misses the front end and... Here come the Redbirds. They yeah. get it into McCray. McCray at the foul line. Nice move on Leia Johnson, but Johnson reaches up the big hand and blocks that one away out of bounds. I, oh, I thought they called a foul. I was going to say that. They did call a foul. That looked oh, like wow. a ball. Huh. Maybe she got her with the body. Couldn't so, tell. Maddie McCray to the line for two. Well, big call for the Redbirds. McCray's first is good. Makes it 48-40. to 40. Still within striking distance is this Allentown yeah, team. A very dangerous squad. And that time, McCray off the mark. So an eight-point game, and they are fouling as they and they're fouling will get Carly Rice. Rice. Yeah, because, you know, well, now she has two shots. That was her tenth foul. But they figure, all right. She's missed a couple. Let's keep sending her until she makes them. So two two chances for her this time. After missing the front end of the one and one 
on Pennington's last possession. Now off the back rim, no good. Well, it seemed a little early to me, but might have been the strategy that's going to get Allentown back in this one as they've been fouling well, I a nine-point game. You know, the, 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 way, the way they were holding the ball, uh, you were going to have to do something, and they weren't making foul shots, but still a nine-point game. Nice ball movement. They get it inside to Hartshorn, and she'll take a bump from Ayanna Johnson and get a trip to the line. Two shots so for Hartshorn. That's what we're seeing right now is foul shots. Hartshorn yet to get in the scoring column. Ooh, nearly did it there as that bounced all around, hit nearly every part of the rim, but creeps off the rim and out. Ooh. That one misses everything. And goes out of bounds back to Pennington. Lucchese now set to toss it in. Pressure being applied by the Redbirds. Lucchese gets it back. Ooh. Maddie McCray nearly with the steal. Instead, she'll knock it out of bounds as she was trying to deny Rice that pass. Stops the clock with 2.08 remaining. A nine-point game here for Pennington. And that time, Ryan Weesey will foul on the inbound Carly Rice. Again, Carly Rice averaging 25.5 points per game here in the Mercer County Tournament. But today has been so far held to just eight. eight yeah. But big chances here at the free throw line. And she's disappointed with herself as she turns after that shot and just shows her frustration with her body language. Yeah, I mean, it's... Gets the second, so she gets one of two and makes it a ten-point game. Redbirds here, you need points at this end of the floor if you want to stay in it. Ryan Weesey will drive. Her pass is going to be knocked loose. Maddie McCray had it. And she'll go to the floor. McCray is going to get tied up by Lucchese. Arrow favoring Allentown. So the Redbirds will look to get it in play. Ryan Weesey into Katie White. White will turn. Put up the shot. Looked like that was going to drop for her, but just didn't have the touch. And now with 144 remaining, now they will foul Lucchese. Send her to the line for two. Maddie McCray with the push. Yeah, Chris, we keep saying we've been saying all game, you know, Allentown or Pennington can't put them away. And they haven't totally put them away, but they pretty much controlled the whole game. Yeah. I mean, they, 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 it never felt like, even though they weren't putting them away, it never felt like Pennington was in any kind of big trouble. Lucchese gets the first from the line. That'll give her That's ten. nine, ten. Ten, yeah. Make that 11. All right. Pennington 52, Allentown 40. And now just 91 seconds remaining. Ryan Weesey, again, from a number of feet beyond the three-point line, yeah. had an open look there but came up short. And Chianti will foul Diamond Christian. She'll get an opportunity to add to her impressive stat sheet. Diamond Christian already with 18 points. Has yet to score here in the fourth quarter. No, she, didn't she have two foul shots? Maybe yeah, so. Yeah, 47 and 48, she had two foul shots. This is the time of game where my score sheet gets a little sloppy. <laughs> First one is good. That makes it a 13-point game, 53-40, to 40, Pennington. Swish. Knocks them both down. Outstanding day for Diamond Christian. She's our player of the game. As with 114 left, it'll be a three-ball attempted by Hartshorn. That's no good. They'll give it up to Carly Rice. And now Keontae. Fouls Diamond Christian. I think it might be a little too late at this point. 
Should get two more chances now. I'll tell you, I like this Pennington team. And again, they will move on into the final. They'll be playing in action on Thursday. And Bob was saying that's 5.30 and 7. Yeah, I think you're correct. 5 and 7.30? 5 and 7. Something like that. Check out our WBCB <laughs> sports website as we'll have all the details for you. We will have the game on WBCB. Diamond Christian with her second free throw. She gets them both. We'll have Makes it, it 56 we, to 40. We may be either on really early or on really late. Let's <laughs> <laughs> figure this out. <laughs> as we get closer, usually we can figure out when the game starts. Well, Pennington just pulling away now. It was 48 to 40 and Pennington on an 8-0 run. And it was a five-point game at one point in the second half. Yeah. But that was as close as the Redbirds were able to get. And now with 47 seconds remaining, Ryan Weesey will dribble. Kick out. Hartshorn? Yes. Gets the three. That's one thing for the Redbirds. Their outside shots have not been falling. Nope. They finally get one, but it's too little too late. Yep. As Carly Rice has the dribble, she'll pass it out to Diamond Christian. And at this point, it's just going to be Pennington playing keep away. Right now, the Redbirds waving the white flag, not fouling, recognizing that it's going to be the Pennington Red Raiders moving on to the Mercer County Tournament Final. For the first time in school history, they'll be taking on either TCA or Notre Dame on Thursday. Here from the Cure Insurance Arena, the horn sounds our final score, Pennington 56 and Allentown 43. And our player of the game, Diamond Christian, and uh, what did she wind up with? Diamond Christian had a lovely game, 24 points and 8 rebounds. And probably had a couple of assists thrown in there, I would think. 24 and 8 for Diamond Christian, and... The Pennington Red Raiders wire-to-wire -wire victors as they get their 22nd win of the season. Again, thanks to the Italian People's Bakery, the Trentonian, all of our partners helping to make high school basketball possible, including Capital Health System, Davis Hyundai, the Revere Restaurant, Team Toyota, and the Mercer County Prosecutor's Office. On site, Big thanks to Rich Fisher alongside Bob Giaquinto doing our video engineering and Rich King behind the camera. We thank you for being with us as well and remind you that uh, we're going to step aside momentarily, but then we will be begin pregame coverage in just moments. The TCA Iron Mikes.